here. I'm here to do a book review of Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. This book doesn't come out until January, but I'm doing kind of an early review. <laughs> so you will be seeing this around release weekend. Um, but I just finished reading this in the beginning of December. So this is Laura from the past saying hello. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this book. I picked this book up from New York City Comic Con from Penguin. And it was pitched to me as a necromancer story with an LGBTQ romance. And overall, I really enjoyed this book. I gave it a four and a half stars. Um, I love reading complex worlds, especially in the winter. Because you can dive into a story and just stay there. And this book was no different. It basically follows this society where um, when you die, necromancers can bring you back to life. Um, but the only thing is that you can't be seen by the public. So you have to wear like veils so that no one, and if someone does see you or then you turn into like basically like a zombie like creature. Um, and the people that are most highly prestige in the society are the necromancers. Um, and the, the lead character in this, his name is Odessa. And she is one of the necromancers. Um, and there's like five necromancers in the story. Um, and the thing about society is that there is no change. There is like nothing changed because the, 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 the dead people who are ruling, which is the, the ruling family, they don't want the world to change. So overall, it was a really complex world and it took me a little bit to like get used to it. Um, it wasn't like explicitly stated like what the world building was, but I really enjoyed it. I love the main characters. I love the LGBTQ references. It wasn't just the main who had those, um, who had the tendency. I thought the whole world was really, really well drawn and I really enjoyed it. I loved all the characters. The plot was really interesting because it, it was some moments where it was really, really fast paced and I was engaged and then there was some, so the pacing was, could be slow at points, but that's not like a bad thing. Um, but the one thing that was consistent throughout this whole entire novel was definitely the mystery, and it was a very, very compelling mystery, and I really, like, enjoyed it. Um, but the there was definitely some shocking twists in this book, and I was really surprised by what she did with this novel, and I was I really liked it. I know that we're definitely getting a sequel according to Goodreads, um, but I really, really enjoyed it, and I loved um, all... I just, the mystery was really, really interesting and really, really fascinating. I kind of saw the, the ending or the twist coming a little bit, but overall, I really enjoyed it, and I highly recommend you check this book out when it comes out in January. Um, I will have my full spoiler, my, my full non-spoiler review on my blog as well during that week, and I will have some cool Instagram pictures that I will be posting as well. But I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!